where it looks like we've finally gotten to the point where we're calling the jihadi attacks over in San Bernardino, California, terrorism, as it was from the get-go. We had all the signs, all the clues, everything pointing to that. But we've been reluctant in the news media and our government to call this terrorism. Why? Because they want to use this as an opportunity to attack guns, to promote even more gun control. Let's not forget, we were in the state of California where this took place. Now, why is that such a big deal? Many of you out there already know this, but California has some of the strictest and most stringent gun control laws in the entire country. Now, politicians and opportunists would have you believe that we need California-style gun control laws throughout the country in order to keep us safe from ourselves, and more specifically, to keep us safe from our guns. The government also would like to instill even more gun control laws on top of the ones that are already in California. But, as we always say, who really follows the laws? Law-abiding people do, right? The people who break these laws and, and, and commit all these crimes and atrocities they break laws every step of the way. What California gun laws did the San Bernardino jihadists break? Let's take a look. First up are the AR-15s that they use in the crime. These AR-15s are said to have been purchased legally within the state of California originally. Now I say originally because it was not by these two murderers. However, there was allegedly a private transfer from the people who originally purchased AR-15s to our two killers. That is illegal. You cannot do that without actually going through an FFL and having that transfer of any firearm in the state of California on record. That's a law that was broken. Second law they broke, high capacity magazines. Is this a 30 round magazine? These are the types of magazines that the killers use in San Bernardino. However, in the state of California, you cannot have any such magazine that holds more than 10 rounds. They had 30 round magazines, possibly even more, but at least 30 rounds because they said they had high capacity magazines. These magazines hold 30. You cannot have these in the state of California. That's a law that was broken. Fixed magazines, or as most people like to refer to it, a bullet button. In the state of California, you have to have a firearm like this equipped with what they call a bullet button. What that is, it's a small button inside here that you have to push with a said tool, a separate tool. You can't just release the magazine with the push of one button. They had their guns modified and or purchased like this one with the push of one button. In other words, it will drop the magazine with the push of one button. Just like we showed in the opener, that's what they were using over there so they could reload quickly. That's a law that was broken. Full auto. It's said that one of the two rifles, possibly even both of them, was modified so that it could be a fully automatic gun, meaning the pull of one trigger releases tons of bullets in a row until you let off. That was a law that was broken. Transporting loaded handguns. You cannot transport a loaded handgun in the state of California in a vehicle, in a moving motor vehicle. Law broken. Transporting rifles. You cannot, in the state of California, transport a loaded rifle, a loaded AR-15. They did this, obviously, during the shootout. Law broken. And even if you're a driver of a vehicle and you're not carrying a loaded firearm, you can't allow somebody else, your passenger of any kind, to carry a loaded firearm. Law broken. It's illegal in the state of California to carry a loaded firearm in public. Law broken. Obviously, they were carrying these guns in public. They were firing these guns in public. In the state of California, it is illegal to draw or exhibit your firearm in any kind of manner as long as someone else is present. Law broken. In the state of California, it's against the law to aim your loaded weapon at a moving vehicle. Law broken. In the state of California, you cannot discharge your firearm in any kind of grossly negligent manner. Law broken. In the state of California, you cannot discharge your firearm at another moving vehicle, a motor vehicle of any kind. Law broken. In the state of California, you cannot discharge your firearm from a moving vehicle. Law broken. Now we have one more law that was broken in this crime. Murder. That's illegal in California as well as every other state in this country. Fourteen laws were broken to commit this heinous crime. And Democrats in the White House continue to attack legal, law-abiding gun owners in the United States of America. Would one more law of any kind have prevented anything that took place by these jihadist murderers in San Bernardino, California? Hey, I'm Max Michelle, and I'm on Gun District. Why aren't you?